this 8 a.m. advisory. Here's what you need to know. The system continuing to try to strengthen and moving to the northwest at nine miles per hour, moving over some extremely warm waters in the Caribbean. Now, we can't find that center of circulation just yet. The hurricane hunters are going to be in and out of this system all throughout the day today. So that's something to keep in mind. Once we get that center of circulation and those thunderstorms to fire up around it, that is when we'll get that designation for Helene. So we will see Helene later today. That'll be a tropical storm. Then heading into your Wednesday, it becomes a category one hurricane. Now, the one major change that I want you to note here on this forecast track is that we can see that we have a category three update right here. So the system is going to move over the Gulf in the coming days. As we head into Thursday, that's when the system will rapidly intensify to a category three hurricane before making landfall along the Big Bend of Florida. That landfall coming at you Thursday and it is going to be for the Big Bend. However, we here in the Tampa Bay area are going to feel major impacts from this storm. And we are still in the cone at this point in time. After it makes that landfall, we'll see it significantly weaken heading into Friday and it'll push out of our area late Friday and we return to normal on Saturday. So two major updates for you. Major hurricane status number one as it makes landfall. Number two, we have hurricane watches and storm surge watches now in effect for the Tampa Bay area. So please heed my advice and go ahead and listen to those evacuation orders if they are mandatory. The system is going to be big. It's going to be powerful, but don't worry. You have plenty of time to prepare today and even for half the day tomorrow. Things are very calm and quiet right now over us. Meaning Meanwhile, down in the Caribbean, you can see that we have a good amount of thunderstorm and cloud activity right here over towards the eastern portion of the system. Meanwhile, it's a little lopsided because in the left port, left hand portion of your screen, you can see right here that we don't have as much in terms of cloud cover or storms firing up yet just yet because of wind shear. Wind shear, tropical systems do not like wind shear. It's the changing of direction and magnitude or strength of winds with height as we go up. So wind shear is not a good thing for any tropical system. It makes it lopsided. That's what's happening. That wind shear though is gonna go away and we're gonna see this system develop. And as it reaches the Yucatan Peninsula, right between there and Cuba. That's when we're going to get that cat one status. This will be Hurricane Helene heading into tomorrow, and then it's going to continue to move northward and drift into the Gulf heading into your Wednesday. This is Wednesday at 10 p.m. That's when we already will see the receive, excuse me, the first bands of rain and wind in our area. And just make sure you have a way to get alerts. The tornado threat will begin Wednesday night into Thursday. And then by Thursday afternoon, that's when we're going to receive the majority of the impacts, the strongest impacts, as the system will be parallel to our area right here. And you can see this is when it's reaching major hurricane strength before it makes landfall. Then late on Thursday, anywhere from 5 to 10 p.m., we could see that landfall. The system then will push into portions of Georgia. So here are the impacts that you can expect. Number one, surge. We could see five to eight feet. Why I start off with surge is because we know we hide from the wind, we run from the water. Surge is the most deadly part of any tropical system along with flooding. And we have both that are possible heading into the next four 48 and 72 hours. So five to eight feet for Tampa Bay. Meanwhile, Northern County, six to 10 feet rain. We could see four to eight inches isolated up to 10 in some spots, and that's going to lead to major flooding across our Bay Area. Winds 40 to 55, even gusting up to 60, 65 miles per hour. Severe weather possible level one out of five. So a marginal risk for isolated tornadoes beginning Wednesday evening into Thursday. Then we see that hurricane will be passing and it'll shift our winds out of the southwest. Once we get those winds out of the southwest, that's going to act as a force to push up water. That's when the surge comes into play. Surge begins Thursday night into early Friday. Again, the timing of this whole entire event will be from late Wednesday into early Friday and talking about that surge. Take a look for yourself six to 10 to the north of us and where it makes landfall. Perry, they're no stranger to any sort of tropical system, 10 to 15 feet along the nature coast and Big Bend there. And you can see that this wind field, this system is going to be very large, very powerful. And we know that anywhere shaded, let me go back for you guys for a second. Any of this yellow shading you see right here, 
you can see our whole entire area is engulfed by that yellow shading, meaning those are tropical storm force winds. So everyone, even if you're not technically in the cone, will be experiencing these tropical storm like conditions, if not hurricane conditions as well, heading into the next couple of days. So here's a look at the models with our latest advisory. You can see that cone obviously has shifted a little more eastward, but it's because those models are getting in better agreement of where that landfall is going to be right along the big bend of Florida here. Now there's still one or two models that are showing more of a direct hit for us. Obviously the cone still could wiggle at this point and if we see the system stay on the right side or right edge of it that would mean more impacts. Meanwhile, if it stays over towards the left side or more to the west, that would mean less impacts for us. So we're hoping the system shifts a little more to the west, but it's really going to depend on this low and high pressure right here. It's what we call tropical steering. So any tropical system just wants to always take that path of least resistance, not have to work against these lows and highs. But don't worry, we have the high pressure in place today, so things are nice and calm. And that is what's going to allow for you to have time to make those last minute preps and double check your hurricane kit right now. Now. So when we talk about a beautiful day, take a look at what happens though. As that system comes on up Thursday, that's when we could see that level one out of five risk for severe weather. Again, isolated tornadoes and those bands, bands, excuse me, of rain and wind. Speaking about rain, we could see rainfall totals up to about six, seven inches, even eight in some areas. Look at this. So the closer to the coast you are, obviously you're going to see more of the rainfall. In addition to that, we see some purple coloring right there. So at least you're seeing two to eight inches all across the Bay Area, even for the East Coast. They're still seeing a good amount of rainfall from this system. But right now we're looking good to go outside. We want to make sure that you are just informed, prepared and connected. And for right now, we're just focused in on this system because of the fact that we're going to continue to see some changes, some switch ups in the models. So just please have a plan in place. Get the preps done. And we know that storm surge is the most deadly part of any tropical system. So make sure you're ready for that. Again, Tampa Bay going to be experiencing five to eight feet. And these numbers could even increase a little bit depending upon how close the system gets. But don't worry, myself, the rest of the team, we're going to walk you through exactly what you need to know. Those impacts, again, are going to be storm surge, rain, wind, and also isolated tornadoes. So please be careful. Flooding is going to be a major issue with this. But the most deadly part, again, storm surge. So we want to make sure you are ready to go, have everything in your kit, and please evacuate if you're ordered to do so. But don't worry, catch Bobby at noon and the rest of the team at night as well. And myself, I'll be on social media doing lives. And in addition to that, answering all all your questions. No need to panic. Just prepare for right now. We still have another day today and half of tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, finalize those plans and don't worry. We've got you covered all throughout the storm and make sure to download the 10 Tampa Bay app. You can watch that on YouTube, on any of your streaming services. We've got you. We're going to be here for you all throughout the storm.